Hi, welcome to Z Code Systems. Here we develop applications to help you win when you bet on sports and not just win, but win big and win consistently. So today I'm going to go over some NBA predictions for games of January the 25th. So we're going to get started here. So you see the first thing that I'm doing here is going to the VIP club section where you can find all kinds of great uh, things to show you how you should bet on these games. So here we're going to start with the Washington Wizards at the Orlando Magic. Uh, Washington is 5 and 18 on the road this year. Orlando is 12 and 13 at home. And if you look here at the system here, you can see that Washington is currently burning hot. Orlando is average. Going to the head-to-head -head matchup, which is always important, you see that the Wizards and the Magic have split the meetings this year, both teams winning at home. If you look at the power ranking indicator to show you what's going on currently with the teams. You can see here that Washington is on an upward trend and they are at plus 11. Orlando has pretty much been stable the last couple, well, about the last week here, and they are at plus 6. Uh, over the last 10 games, you can see here what they've done recently over the last 10. If you go down here to uh, wins and losses, the last 10 games. There you go. This is for the Washington Wizards. You can check both teams as well. But Washington is 7-3 and three over the last 10. Orlando is just 3-7. and seven. So you can see that they are trending in opposite directions here. If you look at the volatility oscillator to see which teams are the most stable, you can see that Washington is the more stable of the teams at plus 10 compared to plus 6. So this means basically the, uh, determines how they perform according to their favorite or underdog status. So the higher the the stability the more that they will perform according to that uh, favorite and underdog status so that's important to look at as well so what i'm thinking of right here now is basically i'm going with the trends right now i'm not looking at, at win and loss record for the season right now washington's playing better uh orlando is in a decline i think even though that washington will be the underdog that they will come out and win this game and keep their streak continuing as far as their uh hot streak so let's look at another game here let's scroll down to this one I'm gonna skip a few games here can't go over all of them so we're gonna skip down a few and let's look at the toronto raptors and the houston rockets now here's a game that should be really entertaining toronto comes in with the second best record in the nba they're right on the heels of the milwaukee bucks they are at burning hot they have won eight out of their last 10 and they're 15 and 9 on the road Houston is coming off of a bad loss to the Philadelphia 76ers. They are average down right now, and they are 17 and 7 at home. If you look at head-to-head, -head, you can see that Toronto won both meetings last season as underdogs in both cases, a home underdog and as a road underdog. So let's look at the power rankings indicator. If you look at this, you can see that both teams are doing pretty well. Uh, Toronto is on its way. Uh, excuse me, Houston is on its way up after a downward trend they're up to plus 19 and toronto is stable over the last uh almost week now and they're at plus 27. If you look here now as we go on to volatility oscillator this is a really good one you look at this toronto is a lot more stable of a team at plus 22 compared to houston at plus five and even though they're on the road they could be a slight road favorite right now the line is not out but keep an eye on that it could be a slight road there or there could be a slight uh, underdog but it won't be much either way so what i'm thinking here is that toronto is among the best teams in the nba they are just going to be too much for Houston. i think they will win this one on the road by a few points it should be a very entertaining game okay we were talking about milwaukee earlier here's milwaukee hosting the charlotte hornets milwaukee has the best record in the nba their status is currently burning hot. Charlotte currently is average down. Well, why? Well, let's take a look what's happening lately. If you look at what's happening recently, Charlotte is four and six over their last ten. Milwaukee is eight and two. They're also twenty-one and four at home compared to six and sixteen for Charlotte on the road. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup here. Well, what's happened so far is that um, well they split the game so far this year. Charlotte won as a home underdog. Milwaukee won. The other one as a road favorite. Take a look here again. I always have to look at the volatility, see which teams are stable. If you look at this, both teams are really pretty stable. Actually, very stable. 
So they are performing according to the favorite underdog status. Important in this one, Milwaukee will be a big favorite. They should win this one and win very easily to continue to stay on top in the Eastern Conference. So let's look at the next game here, Detroit at Dallas. Now here's an interesting matchup here because Dallas is overall actually quite poor, but they're very good at home. They're 16 and 6 at home, whereas Detroit is just 7 and 15 on the road. Last year they split the two meetings. If you look here at the head-to-head -head matchup, you can see this. They split the two meetings last year, both winning as home favorites. Look here at the power ranking indicator. The teams are pretty much even, but you can see what happens to Detroit here. They are on a downward trend over the last several days. They're down to plus eight, and Dallas has been doing better. They're up to plus seven, and that is indicated by what's happened recently in their games played. Although both teams are three and seven over their last ten. So what do I think about the wins and losses of this game? Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator first. You can see that both teams are relatively stable, plus 19 to plus 16. And I'm thinking here, because of Dallas' great home record compared to Detroit on the road, I don't see how Detroit's really going to come away with the win on this one. Let's go with Dallas and win this one by a few points. Okay, let's take a look at the last game here for the day. It's going to be Minnesota at Utah. Look at the head-to-head -head matchups between the two teams. Minnesota won the first game as a home underdog by three points on October the 31st. So they won the first meeting this season. Power ranking indicator. Utah it has a big advantage there, plus 23 to plus 11. Currently, Minnesota is average. Utah is burning hot down. And if you look at the... Volatility oscillator. Again, I like to look at this. The teams are pretty much equal as far as stability goes, and they're relatively stable. Not the most stable teams in the league, but they are plus 11 and plus 10. So it is wise to take a look at the favorite underdog status in this one. You can base some of your prediction on that. Utah is 13 and 9 at home. Minnesota is just 6 and 16 on the road. Big discrepancy. Utah comes away with the win in this one. So now, if you're not really big into the, big into the numbers, or you're not really that big into sports, you can still bet on here. We're going to go with what we have now. It's called the Sports Trader. You see, this is a really good uh, thing you can do here. You look at the side here. You can select your sports. This gives you all the systems that you want to look at. So you can go for football, baseball. Like, if you want basketball, since that's what we're doing right now, just go down to here to, like, NBA regular. And you can select a whole bunch of different systems. See, like System Selector. Go down here to any one of the systems here. Take a look at them. Over here, you see they have the charts, the profits chart here. Like, if you look, look for the last three years, the last one year, the last three months. And you can see how see the profit level right here on this one. And then here's this one also. You can see different profit level. If you go back to like three months, if you want to look at just the most recent trends, see this one here. A lot better trend than say if you go back to the whole year see what's been happening here if you go back to the whole year and here if you don't have a uh, account what you can do is you can just click there and you can go right here you can sign up for one of these okay and here's for US members non US members etc etc so there's a another separate video out there specifically just about this whole system it's something that would be wise for you to take a look at but this gives you a general overview of what you can look at here again here you can pick your systems here you can also go down here to bankroll calculation you can go with a specific unit size or you can put in your own bankroll right right here like supposedly maybe you don't have as much to bet as some people you can put 100 in but if you, if you have a lot of money that you can devote to betting you can put in like 10,000 and then there it recommends the unit size for the the trends that you have selected um, like here here's where you can select the trend so anyway again this is just a general overview of this just to show you what's out there there again there's a separate system completely excuse me a separate video out there uh, specifically with this okay so there you have it those are the bets for the day for January 25th have a nice day and we will see you next week